Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Deathcore. This is a brand new point and click adventure game. Uh, this is the demo for it, but a trailer dropped earlier today actually. And it's all about, as you can guess, Death and the Grim Reaper. So if you're a fan of the Terry Pratchett Discworld novels, I think you'll really like this. I'm actually reading through those books at the moment, and I've been told it's heavily influenced by the whole uh, death stuff in that. So, let's see what we got. Uh, it's a work in progress. The following demo is a work in progress. Uh, any feedback or comments are welcome and appreciated. So, uh, you know, if you guys have any feedback and comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be sharing this video with the developers. So, yeah, by all means, leave your comments down below and um, I'll try and pass those on for you. I believe there's a Kickstarter campaign coming for this soon as well. So that would be pretty cool. Moogle. <laughs> and that's more or less what we do in this company. Do you have any questions? Looks like we're on a job interview. Uh, yes, what would be the most appropriate questions to get the job? No, just throw in that contract, I'll do anything. What? Questions? Who? Me? When? Where? Is this some kind of puzzle? Did the game get started yet? Ah. Take it easy, man. There's no reason to be so nervous. What, what we are looking for is pretty simple. I like that the woman's just on her phone. We're looking for the main character of our next big thing. A classic point and click adventure. So we're being interviewed to be in the game, I guess. Which is pretty cool. Are you familiar with point and click games? Uh, we are quite familiar with them, yes. Uh, Monkey Island, Dare the Tentacle, Grim Fandango, you could say I'm a real adventurer. Uh, no, I mean sure, but explain it. Oh, come on, we're, we're real adventurers here. Great! Click any point of the screen and you can try the first puzzle. Well, we should be able to do that, right? Puzzle? Don't worry, it's super simple. Do you see that coffee maker? I already had my eye on that, actually. We just want to watch you interact with objects in the scene and items in your inventory. I know they've got like little pineapples on the, uh, the tablet and the uh, laptop there. Use the mug and the capsules in the coffee maker and put an end to this nonsense. Mug, capsules, coffee maker. Alright. We can do that, right? Super simple. And we are off. I love the art style. I think it's brilliant. Paper cups. Uh, we've got the mug, we've got the coffee maker, and the coffee capsules. Let's grab one of those. Uh, let's grab a mug. So is the inventory along the top, or do we have to press I, or what do we do? Coffee maker. How do we open up the inventory? We take some. Please use one of the, nug the mugs near the coffee maker. Okay. Uh, what's this? This is just the options. Is there like a? Okay, so it came out of a red thing. I don't actually know how to access the inventory. Oh, it's at the bottom. I see. Coffee in a capsule. The future is truly uncertain. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not big on the capsule ones myself. Um, let's put the mug in. One step further, but still not there. Okay, and the capsule can go in. Oh, look at that. Coffee. Got a green light this time. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That didn't exactly go to play. Look at their eyes. <laughs> what have you done? I didn't touch anything. I mean... I didn't click anything. <laughs> I like the break of the fourth wall. First time that happens, something like that. Maybe some kind of bug. Let him try the water machine. Oh, oh god, are we going to break the water machine next as well? Yeah, okay, use the paper cups to take a refreshing and harmless cup of water. Why do I get the feeling it's going to be anything but refreshing and harmless? But be sure to, of using the eco paper cups. Think a little on saving our planet. Yeah, we can do that. Fresh cup of water. Done. <laughs> we'll see. These are the eco cups, right? Oops. Now I have two cups. Okay. Well, we can, we can take 
to. A paper cup, it seems a little fragile. Okay. I like the bubbles in the water, that's pretty cool. Uh-oh. That, the paper cup broke. It seems that it doesn't support the exact amount of one cup of water. Oh, so if we've got to stack two cups together then? You idiot! That's the puzzle! You only have to... No, 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 no. Let him solve it by himself. Use the paper cups. I like that we're doing an interview for a point-and-click adventure game. It's, it's a really cool concept, actually. Unusual. I don't think I've ever played a game that involves the main character undergoing, proving themselves to be a, a point-and-click character. But it's, it's, it's good. Water machine. There we go. That should work. Right. Oh, God. Why did that happen? <laughs> Why did that happen? They don't look massively happy, although the guy on the end on the left doesn't seem too bothered, actually. So, do I get the job? No, you did not get the job, asshole! In fact, you won't get any job ever again! Wow, oh, I mean, that's, that's quite... I will personally take care of that. You are the most useless piece of sh... Oh my god! The guy in the middle was just completely unfazed. Wow! They just got obliterated. Death! Thank you, I, I appreciate the, the clapping. Truly impressive. I must say that in my whole eternity, this is the first time I see three mortals killed by a single glass of water. Well, we did something good then, sort of. We, we set a record, anyway. Could it be possible? But it would be clearly extraordinary. I love the way he sort of just floats across. Whoa. That is eerie. <laughs> ah, our trousers fell down. God, he's quite creepy, isn't he? It's really well done. Scythe. I'm guessing that's their souls. Alright, it's decided. Today is your lucky day, boy. Not yet really sure if good or bad, but definitely... Oh, I missed that, damn it. Wow. Just like... Follow me, your adventure has only just begun. We're just going to cleave a hole in time and space, I guess. I mean, that was a pretty cool opening, I've got to say. Oh, here we go. Death Core. Nice touch with the lightning. Ah, here we are. What's your problem, boy? I thought you were looking for a job. Yeah, everything looks great. Maybe just this detail about killing people. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got it all wrong. Nobody is killed by death. Could you blame life for being alive? Look, try not to overthink it too much. In fact, it's quite simple. I like the Rubik's Cube is just black on all sides. <laughs> every mortal wanders his path with every experience. Every decision matters and counts. But let's say that sometimes destiny needs a little push. Whee. And yes, when I say destiny, I mean some pot on the edge of a window. I'm not sure. Won't it be dangerous? Ah, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> I can hear the laughing. It's good. <laughs> it's a shame there's no voice acting actually because I think it would do a lot better justice to these lines than I am but um, yeah quite a cool little cutscene there I, I've got to say the art style is very 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 well done well I think we've finished all the paperwork we needed so I'm death now let's start with an intern position but first the most important thing the death 
I think you can find one available in the closet. Ooh, okay. Ooh, the Necronomic... Re Necronomicon. Why can't I say that word? I've played Gibbous and everything. Curious book. The Necronomicon. Not the real one, of course. It's just a creepy replica. Not oh, just a replica, eh? Okay. Liquors. Are you judging me by any chance? Uh, no, we're not. We're just looking around. Statue. Pazuzu. Cool guy. Could use some media training, though. It's pretty cool that things, like, jump up and down when you click on them. There's the pendulum. I like those things. They're quite cool. Uh, pink tag. All right. It's like a Rubik's Cube. Ooh, but fancy. You can summon Cenobites with that. Is that how you say that? Please don't touch it. I'm not sure that I can solve it again. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> and there's a Palantir here. I think I can see something. Oh my god, it's Sauron. <laughs> the Eye of Sauron that scared the hell out of me. What the f Yeah, we'll leave that alone, shall we? Uh, right, the closet is where we're meant to be going before we get distracted. Looking for the Death Hood, right? Here it is. Nice. Are we, are we gonna put the Death Hood on or are we gonna hand it over to Death? Oh no, we're putting it on. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Pretty cool powers. I feel different. When you have the hood on, you are invulnerable to death. And invisible to other mortals. I am... Invincible? No, 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 you are invulnerable. Do you need a demonstration? Uh, Mihail, could you please come to my office just a second? I don't know if that's how you say that, but I'm going to say it like that. Uh, do you need something, Chief? Yes, Mihail, this is Art, the new intern. Do you mind to show him how the hood works? Sure, my pleasure. Hi, right, pleased to meet you. My name is Art. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Mihail. Wow, right, right in the in the the family jewels there. It's got her. But why? When he was alive, Mihail was a famous football player. <laughs> a kick like that would have killed you in an instant. Ah, I see. So we can't die, but we can still feel it. And you are fine, relatively speaking. But the pain! Oh yes, the pain remains equal. <laughs> Brilliant. You'll quickly get used to it. Why do you think I look like this? <laughs> and now, if you can put it back together, we can start with your first assignment. Assignment? Ooh, our first assignment. I've got to say, I am loving this so far. It's really good. Really well made. The story's brilliant. I love the concept. It's full moon time. Cool car. Ah, uh, this is going to be like one of those horror movies in America, right? No, Tommy, stop it. We've already discussed this. I don't want to do it until we get married. Babe, you have nothing to worry. We don't need to rush anything. I know you love me and you know I really care about you. We have all the time in the world. The future is ours. Forever. Oh yeah, it's one of those horror movies for sure. Oh my god! 
That, that guy just got squished, literally. So do we have to go and like claim his soul or something for death? You can't imagine how many times you'll spend chasing people running. You might think they would learn, but... Can, can she not see us? I'm guessing not. I mean, I'm not surprised that she can't see death, but I thought she might be able to see us. Maybe the hood makes it so she can't know. <laughs> Just turn the light on to scare her. Well, you get more or less the idea, don't you? So, let's see your magic. Well, here's that big guy. All right then, guys. Well, I tell you what, that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, this is really cool so far. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um... I'm intrigued to see where this goes. We've got the Kickstarter coming soon, like I said. It feels really well made, actually. And I'm enjoying this whole thing of being Death's Apprentice. I think it's a really cool premise for a game. The whole intro where you're, like, trialling to be a character in an audition for a point-and-click game. Pretty cool opening. Um, yeah, I really like this. If you want to play it, I'll leave a link to the demo in the description down below. And also details of the Kickstarter and things like that, too. So you can check that out. But that does it for this one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my Patreon. Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.